<laughs> Hello, Olivia. Hello. Hi. What's up, everyone? Stephen Shaw here, and today we're going to talk about hiring a good contractor. So let's get started. During the estimate is when you really get to know if a contractor is going to be the right fit for you. So here are some things you can look out for when you're hiring a contractor. Can they answer any questions you might have? So when you're starting a project, you're going to have a lot of questions. And sometimes contractors don't always have the answers. Uh, some will lie and uh, just uh, try and make you believe them, but others will be honest with you and say, hey, look, I don't know the answer to that, but let me find out for you. Make sure you're asking the same questions to each contractor you're looking to potentially hire, just so it's fair for one and two, uh, they should all have like a similar answer. Even though there is multiple ways to do different projects, um, this still should be pretty close to what the other contractors were saying. So, and that's another way you could catch them if they were lying and, and making stuff up. Are they punctual to the estimate? Are they showing up on time? Or if they're gonna be late, are they at least calling to let you know that they're running behind? Punctuality is uh, pretty easy these days with technology and GPS. I mean, there's no reason you can't show up to a job on time or within like five minutes with uh, GPS because like Google Maps, it tells you exactly how long it's gonna take you to get there. When you're punctual, you're just, you're just more organized. So someone's shows up like a half hour late without any kind of notice. You know, sometimes you get busy and you might be late and then you can just call the customer and let them know, hey, I'm gonna be late. Um, is this gonna be okay from a half hour late? And 90% of the time, they're like, yeah, that's fine. And they appreciate you calling, so easy. If, uh, if they're punctual, that's a, that's a good thing. If they're late, that's, that's a red flag. How do they present yourself during the estimate? Does it smell like they just had a few drinks or maybe just smoked a joint and popped over for a quick estimate? Does it look like they haven't showered in a few days? These are definitely some red flags you gotta watch out for. How was their communication? When you're explaining the work that you want to get done, does it look like they're paying attention? Are they taking notes? Are they repeating what you were saying to make sure they heard you right? Can they show you pictures of other projects they've done to see if it's kind of matching the vision, vision you have in mind for your project. Are they explaining the pros and cons of different options that we could do for your project? And do they give you a time frame as to when, they, when you can expect an estimate? So when you receive the estimate, did you receive it on time in the time frame that they told you? Or did they at least reach out and say it's gonna be a few extra days for them to uh, get the estimate out to you? Because uh, sometimes you get busy and you just don't quite get it done in time get it out to the customer as quickly as you thought you would but it's always good just to let them know just so they're not sitting around and expecting it and it's not showing up it just looks bad is the estimate broken down so let's say you're looking for like a new walkway uh, like a patio retaining wall garden wall uh, what I usually do is break it all down into the different areas so the walkway is gonna cost this much the patio is gonna cost this much the retaining wall is going to cost this much and the garden wall is going to call this, cost this much. So that way if it is over your budget you can kind of choose which projects you want to do, which ones you want to leave out and it helps you just break it down and uh, see like where the money is going for each project. The estimate should, uh, should be detailed enough that it's going to tell you what material is being used so if it's a certain color you asked for it make sure that's on there, uh, like the size of it. If it's a retaining wall, how high the wall is gonna be, how long it's gonna be. Uh, if it's a patio, what the square footage of the patio is. Um, things like that, the, the details should be on there to make sure you're both on the same page and you're, gonna, you're getting what you're asking for. Is there terms and conditions? I usually put these right on the estimate so customers know what they can expect. So in the terms and conditions it should uh, say like what your payment schedule is like, do you require money up front, uh, and if so how much up front, how much do you require at the end of the job. Is there any special instructions like I like to have driveways 
kept clear when we were doing our work so we can access the property more easily. And do they carry insurance? So if they should have on there that they're, they carry liability insurance to make sure you're protected and make sure they're protected. If anything does happen, they'll, they'll be able to, to get it fixed up. And of course, check the reviews. I mean, with the online world these days, there's plenty of places you can check reviews with Google or Facebook, uh, BBB, but that's kind of a dying thing. So yeah, check the reviews. All right guys, well those are some tips for hiring a good contractor. And if you found this information helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more content from this guy, yeah.